your host, Kelly Michelle, and I, once again, am excited to have three of my family members here with me today. My father, my Aunt Jackie, and then also my sister, Amber. And so we are going to talk about today hobbies. Mm. <laughs> so, first of all, what are some of your hobbies? Uh, You're chuckling, Dad. Why are you laughing? Well, it used to be golf. Okay. Until I kind of hurt my left knee. Now it's just kind of laying on the couch with a remote. Okay. That's a hobby. That's a hobby? Yes. Okay. Okay. Mine, uh, let's see, probably cycling. Okay. Riding my bike. Uh, that's what comes to mind. For a hobby? Yeah. <clears throat> um. So I would say cooking. Yeah. I find cooking to be relaxing. So I like to, I enjoy cooking. I would say reading. I, I I want to read a lot more, but I do enjoy reading. And I also do, I like decorating. That's really yeah. fun to me and making different things. So, I would say for me, my hobby is um, I'm a part of a book club. So I do uh, read a book, at least a book a month. Um, and then also too, I like um, roller skating. I haven't done it as much as I used to, but that's also a hobby that I enjoy doing as well. So those are my hobbies. How often do you do your hobbies? Like, is it, you know, once a month, you know, once a week, like for you, I guess, dad, that is how 24 seven. 24 7. Well, not 24. Well, not 24 7. Yeah. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, do you have, since your hobby is leisure and watching television, do you have particular shows that you kind of gravitate to or you watch or genres or? I have certain shows that I watch, but the real hobby is just laying on the couch. Oh, just laying on the couch. Right. Okay. Most people think I'm a TV addict. I'm not. I'm just, that's my resting place. Okay. Just kind of rest. And if the TV happens to be, I can do it with the television on or the television off. Okay. But the couch is a place to rest and relax. Because my girls know, and you're one of my girls, know yeah. I can get those after work naps in. Yes. To the couch. To the couch. Yes. I would also say for me, um, another hobby of mine is working out. So I like to go to the gym at least four times a week, um, you know, get exercise in. So I guess I would say, I, I would say for me, the frequency of my hobby is four times a week. And then I try to read at least an hour at night. So before I go to bed, I try to, to, to read. So what about you guys? Oh, with my cycling, let's see, I started it about five years ago, and uh, I haven't been on my bike yet this year, uh, even though sometimes the weather's been mild. Yeah. But uh, I did do my century ride, 100 miles, but oh, uh, awesome. yeah, I have to get back on my bike. When I'm riding frequently, it's like two times a week. Okay. You know, at least one time, you know, when I ride, at least riding 35 miles. That's just, you know... A standard, standard ride, but when okay. I'm really cycling a lot and doing it for the whole season, I want to work back up to, you know, riding 70 and then getting back to my century oh, that's mile, awesome. century ride. Now, is this with or without your sister? Uh, this is with friends in a cycling club. Okay, so it's not specifically with your sister. No, cycling is your hobby yeah. with or without your sister. Yeah. I thought maybe she got you started. Uh, no, she I joined okay. the club and okay. then I actually told her about this. Okay, club. you got her she riding. She was riding before. Okay. She was riding before me, actually. Okay. She joined a different club and I wasn't riding at that time. And then when I started, I told her about elite cycling and she uh, was an adventure club too, cycling and adventure. And then she uh, started riding with us. Okay. Yeah, I might even upgrade my bike in the next couple years. Maybe. Nice. We'll see. Nice. Very nice. So for me, I would say I cook every day pretty much, but yeah. it's not like, oh, I'm going to make this big meal. I'm usually on a schedule, so I have, a, you know, I'm getting it done. So in terms of like cooking for a hobby, it's not as often. And I would say reading probably once a week and then decorating just kind of when I might have extra time. So that's 
is really when my hobbies happen. Yeah, so I would say also too for my hobbies, I like to do things that are different. So um, I've done like a taken a ceramics class before. I've taken tennis lessons. I've been on a softball team. So I just like to do hobbies that you stay active um, and have like an exercise portion of it or also to just learning a new skill. So I like those types of things as well. So one of the questions I was going to ask is, I'm going to ask now is, how did you get involved in, um, in your hobby? And you kind of already alluded to and said how you kind of got involved with cycling. Yeah, it was an adventure club, and they did okay. a number of things, cycling during the summer and spring, fall, and then in the winter, they would hike. Okay. And there's so many um, parks around the Ohio area, I didn't even know, even mm -hmm. around the Columbus area where you can, when it snows, or even, you know, um, during the summer, hike. Yeah. You know, and so that's how I got started with that. And I, I knew, even though it was an adventure club, I knew cycling was what I was interested in. And they do horseback rides and just a number of different activities. Yeah. And it's kind of a word-of-mouth club. I don't think she even has a website set up. It's kind of word-of-mouth. Okay. Um. Well, I don't know, Dad, is there, I guess, how did you get, I don't know if this question necessarily pertains well, to you. Well, yes, yes, it does, because okay. even, though, uh, <laughs> even though I've been retired from my regular full-time job, I do some substitute teaching on the side, Yeah. and depending on what grade it is, teaching can be quite laborious, stringent. I don't want to say stressful because I don't like them. I don't let them stress me out. But when you come home from a long day of trying to help people be better, you just wore out. Okay. And so it's an easy. It's just easy just to come in and just drop on the couch. Or when you come home from church, or you come home from any activity or whatever. I mean, it's like right there. You just kind of just flow right into it, and okay. there you are in your hobby. Oh, that, well, okay, that's a, a very interesting um, answer, but hey, you just flow mm -hmm. right on in, flow right on into the couch. That's right. <laughs> so how I got involved with my book club is, um, and that's my hobby, one of my hobbies, is probably about say maybe five or six or possibly even seven years at this point um just a friend of mine we talked about our enjoyment in books and we just kind of from there just kind of started a book club and we meet um once a month I would say that there's definitely moments where it's more of a social slash wine club versus um a book club but we all we have a lot of fun um with the book club sure. So for me, I would say I had this aspiration to maybe mix up my food options as a child. Um, I think a lot of people might say, you know, I watched my mom cook and everything. That wasn't necessarily my reality. Um, even though she cooked frequently, I just wanted to try different things. My mom definitely cooked all the time and made sure we were fed, but I just had this like interest in learning different foods to cook. And yeah. so I started to watch Food Network a lot as I was younger, and that's how I really like learned different things to cook and make meals. Mm -hmm. So I think that's how that hobby started, was just watching Food Network, and I was really intrigued with what they were doing, and I just tried to mimic some of it, and some of the stuff I would just experiment, so... And you also do enjoy like making your own sauces mm -hmm. and, you know, doing things from scratch, too. Yes. Yeah, I prefer to cook versus eating out, so... If I have the opportunity to cook, then I'll definitely take advantage of that. What are some of the sauces that you make from scratch? What are some things that you make from scratch? Oh, um, <laughs> these sauces that you speak of, I'm not sure exactly <laughs> all these sauces I that you, I make. I thought you I thought you like made like homemade Alfredo. Oh sauce yeah, so that kind of stuff. Yeah, so yeah, Alfredo like sauce that. and um, you know. I, I mean, that's probably one of the only homemade sauces that I've made. But um, you also, well, yeah, that's probably the only homemade sauces, but you make homemade uh, chicken pot pies. Right, and, yeah. So you chicken know, pot yeah, pies. Yeah, so different and, things, like, you know. You know, macaroni and cheese. Yeah. And, 
sweet potatoes, but then also too like um, chicken fried rice and yeah. different things like that. So yeah, you like to you like to be in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. But yeah. those aren't sauces; those are entrees. <laughs> that is true. Unreadiness. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And she had her hand up. I don't know if that means anything. Does that? No, I guess not. <laughs> Sorry. So the last thing I'll ask um, is, how did you get started on your in your hobby? So we already kind of have your answer, Dad, of how you got started in your hobby. Yeah, my hobby starts with tiredness. <laughs> yes. When you're tired, you just. Okay. Okay. Oh, we actually, that's not what I wanted to ask. We already talked about that. What I wanted to ask, is there a hobby that you wanted to start doing? Hmm. You have something, do you have a hobby that you want to start doing, Dad? I'll go last on this one. You'll go last on this one? Yes. Okay. One that I want to start? Yeah. Uh, I can't think of anything that I want to start doing, hobby-wise. Okay. I think I want to travel more. Okay. Yeah, yeah that I is do a that, hobby but that I still you want do. to travel and more. And we do. Yeah. I don't know. That's really an adventure. I, I like doing that. So I guess, yeah, that's a hobby. Um, I can think of one I want to stop doing as much. <laughs> and what's that? Crafts. <laughs> oh, gambling. I think gambling I at the is casino. A, is that, yeah, that is a hobby. Yeah, we want to probably cut back on that hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Am? I don't know if it's a hobby, but I would like to start working out consistently. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know. Working out is a hobby. It is. Yeah, I, I like, like it's a hobby. But to me, when I think hobby, I think of something you enjoy. You know, like something you like to do. Yeah. I just, yeah. I feel like I, it's, I, I don't know if it would be a hobby for me, but I do want to, it is for some people, so I do want to do that. Yeah. I would say for me, I would like to start um, relearning Spanish. I think having... Um, a second language under my belt is something that I would like to, to pursue again. So that's a hobby I want to start. All right, Dad, you said you're going to bring it home. Bonjour, mes amis. Moi, je m'appelle Robert. Comment vous appelez-vous? That's not French. That is not French either. It's not much French. No, actually, the reason why I had some unreadiness is I'm not sure if I want to start playing golf. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. so that's, that's something you're considering. Yes, I'm not sure, but yes. Well, thank you to my guest, my father, my aunt, and my sister for joining me on today's segment of Let's Talk About It. I really appreciate them being here. Also, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and check me out on all my social media outlets. And until next time, see you later. Hey everybody, I want to hear from you. So if you have a question that you would like me to ask the panelists, please reach out to me at my email account at kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y dot L-T-A-I at gmail.com. The information is also at the bottom of your screen. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.